I'm doing work over here. Take that. Put the stability back on. Listen. Why would you turn it off hand holding? Look. Listen, please oh listen. Oh my god. If I tune into a fork video and I go, man, what are these guys all about? I've never seen their videos before. We will go over like we always do. Why would you not do that in the beginning of the episode to soak people, to bring them in? Because, son, they can go to our other video and see how we do it. You can show them the thumbnail. You don't want to talk about other that needs to be addressed that hasn't been addressed yet. And you want to go over a whole recap of our scoring system when we have a video that has all that? That makes zero sense. That's why you don't call those shots. Get off my hand! Oh my love! Off, we're good to go. Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning into once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We are very excited you guys are here because we've got some things about to go down. Uh, let's just say uh, you're looking at a break upgrade, right? Um, this video a just might help break you. Upgrade? A break upgrade? A break upgrade. Maybe you guys are running old mechanical nasty brakes. The cables are all stretched out on them and you're just over it because you can no longer stop. This episode might be able to help you out with our opinions on uh, taking a look at what we've got behind us. Raxman sent us these Tektro M185 hydraulic brakes. No, show you. M285 hydraulic brakes, uh, both front and rear. And the really I cool hope thing. They are. Yeah, I hope they are. Yep, yep. The really cool thing with these brakes, the whole kit, it came with uh, 180 millimeter rotors. And not only that, but something that's pretty cool with these, you just got done looking them up. How much did they go for? They're, they're well, they range with the rotors, they're about the 110 ish. Yeah. You know, I've seen them. I see them cheaper without the rotors, but with the rotors, about 110 ish. Shimano. Everybody knows a lot of the brakes have shot up. You know, you used to be able to get a really yeah. good hydraulic brake for eighty seven dollars. I used to buy MT two hundreds for fifty, sixty bucks. It's crazy. Everything shot up. Considering the prices that are out today, this is pretty much a budget hydraulic brake. You know, as soon as this comes out, it's going to the price is going to go up. Everyone's be like, I thought you said they were 110 or 115 dollars. Yeah. Check out the affiliate links below before everybody. They're going to go up. Yeah, so we're going to be installing this today on the Ledge X1, one of my favorite bikes on the channel. Also, what we're going to be doing is I'm still rocking the stock pedals on the Ledge X1. And yeah. uh, we're going to be installing these today. Does everybody know what these are? Everybody should know. Everybody should be really excited about them because these are the Fooker pedals. Everybody says, please Watch get some now. Fooker pedals. And these were sent to us by our boy, old country boy, Cody D, oh, sent us these. Oh, country boy. Yep. And when he sent us these guys, it's been a minute, Cody. But uh, he says, hey, I got these things for like $26. So these are definitely budget pedals. And I'm tired of my feet slipping on the Ledge X1. We shouldn't slip with these. Should not I slip on that mic well. Another thing I was going to mention real quick, and I just wanted to say that uh, we're going to have quite a few people to thank for our Christmas gifts of uh, support. Yeah. yeah, we've got so some So we're going to have uh, a few people outs. that we're going to mention along this, and some people have, have been very generous, and we appreciate everybody that's helped the channel. Man, it really, it really helps us so much because it gives us the ability to go out there and buy some of the things and take the time to go and, and record and go out on the trails and all because yeah. time's money. Now, speaking of which, let's give this installation, you know, let's give a little shout out to our boy, Wes Graves, right? Him and his son, 20 coffees. Very damn cool, man. Wow. So uh, this whole install is for you guys. Thank you so much. Wes Graves been a pretty much a main staple of the channel. He's Bought been, some merchandise. Been, been around for a minute now. Yeah, you got a picture. Yeah, of him. yeah I'll show yeah. you guys the picture, man. Uh, Homeboy supports us. Homeboy. Wes Graves, you and your son, man, thank you uh, so much. And guys, without further ado, let's get into the install. We're going to be taking a look at these brakes. All right, guys, so let's go and start talking about the front uh, lever and caliper. And I'm going to show you guys the uh, rotor here in a second. I love the look of the Tektro lever, right, with that little plastic cover we kind of get over the top. It looks just really clean and modern. And something that I don't like, something that bothers me, is the lever's not too long, right? I, I think uh, you'll be able to definitely fit two fingers on there. I'm, I'm guessing this isn't going to be a one-finger stopper. But um, I, there's no kind of grip or anything on there. And I'm going to work fill it when it's going to be on the bar after the installation, guys. But it kind of feels like a really cheap, stamped-out part. It doesn't feel the greatest. Uh, something, though, that I did notice, and this is good news, is I'm going to keep that little spacer deal in there. Both pistons are actually working in there. Um, and the last thing that bothers me a little bit, and I, this is more of a personal thing I just get kind of nervous about, is it comes with 180 millimeter rotors, but this right here, 
says that it's a front 160 or a rear 140. Now it just gets me nervous because every time we go to install it on the bike, something always goes wrong with the adapter. That's kind of a problem. I just wish that they would send you or it would come with the kit, uh, whatever adapters that you need. And um, we'll take a look at the rear one right now. Now here's the uh, rotors, really good looking rotor, 180 millimeters as we stated, and that's both front and rear. And I'm gonna try to get these things mounted on right. Here recently, I've been having a problem getting these damn things backwards. You got called out on that. Yeah, so Tektro, good thing to have the arrow too. You got the little arrow they on there. They all have an arrow, I believe. Uh, again, I love the looks of that. I'm just a little weary on if I crash, um, this right here just breaking off that lever. Now it does look like there's just a reach adjustment in both on the uh, front and rear. You can see it right there, just like, I mean, all the other budget brakes that we show on this channel. And something that's different, um, I'm used to that BH-59 hose. This hose here actually has some width and some girth to it. I don't know if it's just got a big bore. Yeah, watch out. Um, or if it just has like extra layers on there. It might be a little sketchy in the department of running this thing internal. So we're going to definitely have to cut this rear one down. It is uh, 1,500 millimeters. I don't want to have a bunch of excess. We've got some uh, mounting hardware. So uh, with the mounting hardware, it's really nice because a lot of the stock stuff has the thread lock on there. And whenever you unscrew it, it, it eats all that up. So we'll be able to have something brand new to put in its place. It should be nice so we know that uh, it's done proper. But that's pretty much what comes with the whole kit. Again, guys, it was sent to us by Raxman. We're going to start tearing this Ledge X1 down. And uh, we're going to start the install after we get this, guys. I'm a little nervous about the internals. I don't know if we should maybe get, like, some thread or uh, get some wire or something like that. Well, what do you think the man would do? The man? The man. What What would the man do? I think the man... Dayford. Dayford? You don't have to tell me who it is. Oh, uh, Dayford. Apparently, I do. I think the man would uh, probably... Give us 20 coffees. Give us 20 coffees. <laughs> the man, Dayford, um, old Dayford, thank you so much for the 20 cups of coffee. Uh, definitely helps out. And let us know in the comments what you would do. <laughs> all right, so we got that bottom caliper undone. And I forgot about taking all this off. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. All the Wolf Dick Nation out there who knows this bike, knows this channel, they're probably going, uh, oh my God, it's gone. It's gone. Where did it go? Yes, we had to do it. We changed up the stem and the bar, and we've even got these funky foam grips that Sloth sent us. So Sloth, thank you for sending us these grips. Uh, I have yet to ride this bike, officially ride this bike without uh, without those Trifox bars on there. Sloth, I will tell you one thing. He swears by them. I will tell you one thing. Guys, if you're out there um, and you ride with foam grips, let me know. But anyway, Sloth says that they're just so comfortable. And I will say one thing from moving this bike from the really cold shed to outside, it's very nice because this right here, the temperature does not change on the insulated foam. It's so nice on your hands, just moving the bike. I don't know about riding it yet, and I don't know about the hold up ability, how long it's gonna, the duration that's gonna hold up for. But uh, it's gonna be nice. I should've been wearing these things, uh, should've put these on the damn Ardor when we did the fork test out there in the 25 degree weather, right? Okay, Wolf Dick Nation, don't be mad at me, okay? Don't be upset what I'm about to tell you I'm gonna have to do. Uh, I don't have an adapter for this. I, there's 50 adapters over there. For the front, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do some... some don't, don't do spacers. I'm gonna put some spacers on there. Oh, good Lord, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta put some spacers on there, guys. This it's it's just be meantime, we'll probably get it. By the time we review, we'll probably have it, but just to do it right now, We'll let you guys know the update. I'm gonna have to use some spacers and this stuff here. I'm gonna show you guys a close up when I get done with it. But holy crap, um, man, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do it just because I don't have the damn adapter for it. And it's this, it's always a mess with adapters. And I said that in the beginning of the video. It's just I get nerve wracked with those adapters, man. I'm gonna have to do this. You know who wouldn't be upset with me about this? Who? Berserker. Nick. I don't know about that. Berserker Nick would be supporting. He'd be in my corner well, right now. He'd be now. in your corner, I'm sure, because he's always supporting you. But at the same time, supporting us. But at the same time, even with 20 coffees, which is friggin' amazing. 20 cups of coffee. I still think you'd have a problem with this. Nah, Berserker would be in my corner. He'd be like, look, Jeremiah, you do whatever the hell you need to do. Don't worry about Wolf over there. I'll handle him. <laughs> you just... 
You just do your stuff, man. Now, honestly, guys, I will probably, uh, we're going to order those tonight. By the time you guys see the review, we'll talk about this and fixing it. We'll get the proper. I, I bet, no, we'll probably have to do the review before that. Now, this is the part that I'm a little skeptical about. Now, what I'm thinking about is getting this cable here and trying to pull the housing outside and leave the cable inside. That way, maybe I can wrap this cable around the hose of the Tektro hydraulic brake after we cut it. Wrap some tape around it and then pull the cable through. You think that'll work? What do you guys think? You think it'll work, though? I don't know. Pulling daisy it through. chaining it. I we're going to daisy chain it. I don't know. It's daisy chaining. Yeah, so anyway, I think that's what we're going to do with it. Let's go ahead and undo this stuff up here. we got to take that rear wheel off and change the rotor out on it. And then uh, we'll get after it. Now, if you guys remember, we've got some OGs probably watching this video, right? Those real classic fellas that watch from the beginning of the video all the way to the end. We appreciate you guys. Real classic fellas. Now, speaking of OGs, this man that I want to thank next, he's claiming to be an OG. Okay? <laughs> he's claiming to be he's claiming. Right? Now, number 499. That's pretty damn awesome if he's got that. Uh, whoa, man, watch my camera. Well, you're all, you're, your camera's in my area, it's just so you know. Definitely a trophy, dude, if you can remember. Uh, when you subscribe, you said he subscribed at 4.99. God's frozen people from Alberta, Canada, right? Ten cups of coffee. How awesome is that? That's awesome. Yeah, God's frozen people. I'm sure it's damn cold there. I should be <laughs> about no 28 degree weather. I can 25. only imagine. Yeah, but uh, 25 degree weather. It's just ridiculous. But God's frozen people, everybody from Alberta, Canada. Thank you so much. All right, let's go ahead and finish putting this rotor on there. We'll put it back on the bike and then. Uh, I think it'll be time to cut the Tektro. All right, we're gonna use my oh, cutters. Jesus. Now, this is a professional tool. If you guys wanna check this tool out, you can check out the affiliate links below. A professional tool, but we're not professionals. Yeah, professional tool without being professional. So I'm gonna go ahead and think ahead here, and I'm gonna wrap. You're thinking ahead. Yeah, that's what I do. Get when when do pit. you start doing that? <laughs> Starting today. Three, two, one. But I'm not hitting you. Heard that before. Cut the wrong side. I'm just kidding. God, I kind of want to shove that cable in there, you know? I think I should. I don't care. Do what you want. Or if we're shoving the cable in there. Cable's inside of the hose. All right. I think that was enough. All right, guys. Let's go routing. Let's find out. And we're going to be genteel. Gen Very gentle with it. Come on, baby. Okay. I'm doing all the pushing right now on the housing. Yeah. Really, I'm not pulling the cable at all. That's right. I'm just going to use the cable to... Okay, now we're here. Oh, buddy. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Uh-oh, I'm starting to stretch the tape. Oh, no. I'm starting don't, to stretch the tape. It. Don't pull on it. Oh, no. Work Fluid's coming through. Uh oh work the push. Bam! Yeah, so you just got to right. give it the method. All right, that's good. That's good. Quit giving me, giving me extras. There's some more. No, quit giving me extras. All right. The thing is, I don't want to squeeze the lever and you shoot just, whatever you just fluid. just squeezed a little bit. I heard the air. Shoot whatever fluid or air that's in there out of it. Yeah, don't be shooting fluid. All right, so this here has got an O-ring around it. What's funny is I have a Tektro kit over there. And that Tektro kit, a uh, bleed kit, it came with this barb that does not have an O-ring on it. So I wonder if that's going to be okay. Or if that sits inside there or... What we're doing here. We might be abandoning ships. What we might have to do this? Well, is I mean, we're going to plug it on there. Might be abandoning, abandoning ships. ships. Ship. Might have to do this. Well, well, well. Wolfman was uh, exactly correct. Um, he's never correct, but this time Shit. he was. It is now a week later. We, we are, are not. We are back from vacation, and guys, um, we had to abandon ship, right? I mean, we had to call it quits. Finally got some parts that we're going to need. Um, they're going to be very important. So went to a local bike shop, and we got some olives and some barbs for the M285s. Is that right? Uh, Tektro M285, I believe. Is yes. That right? believe that these are these. It's been a week, guys. So we got the parts we needed from a local bike shop. And on this video, after we get done with this install and the coffee shoutouts, we're going to be throwing at you guys everybody's favorite segment. Yes, we're throwing in a mail time segment, right? And there's a new fork. You're not going to want to miss it at the end of this. Yes, you're not going to want to miss it at the end of the video. But you may or may not see these being opened. <laughs> 
during the mail time. These are proper adapters, so we'll be able to properly adapt the front 180 caliper rotor um, combo and the rear, right? So I think these are right. So let's move on with the install because boy howdy, was that a damn mess. I'm just glad we got the right stuff. Boy howdy. Now, I'm gonna have to recut this because it's all frayed up. I was trying to use that old Tektro one that came with that bleed kit that I was talking about and dude, it did not want to go over this hose. Oh yeah, look at that slide. Perfect. All right, a little setter. Um, vacation was really good. We went to Orlando, went to uh, Animal Kingdom, got to see some pretty cool stuff, and uh, Wolfman enjoyed his photography. I'm trying to get the shot. Yeah, I'm, he's trying to get a picture of me, guys. Um, anyway, Wolfman enjoyed <laughs> Wolfman enjoyed his photography on vacation, and that brings us to our next coffee supporter. Who is it? LeBron Photo. Not dot com. Yep, LeBron. Uh, bought us 10 cups of coffee. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Helped out with uh, everything, with this build, everything. You know that. Been a uh, supporter for a very long time. And LeBron is a, a photographer. And, dude, I'm just saying, you're going to be jealous of some of the pictures that he got, that he took um, on vacation. A lot of birdage. A lot, a lot of birds. A lot of birdage. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the birdage part, but there was a lot of shots taken. Heck, yeah. A lot of shots, but LeBron, thank you so much for being a part of this channel, and thank yes. you so much for the 10 coffees, man. It, it really helps. Wow, oh, golly. Did you hear that? All right, so now that we have got both the rear adapter finally handled properly, and we've got the front adapter, all those nasty spacers taken off there, so, so everybody, everybody could just calm down, uh, we are now ready to hook up the rear caliper, put this sucker on there, kind of button this up in the back section, and then put those levers on the front, and we'll be good to go. We're gonna call it done. But um, there's another coffee shout out that I wanna do. You know who I'm talking about? Who are you talking about? You guys know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about this woman. Oh. She's a patron. Fan of the Wolf Tick Nation. It's old Brandy Hodges. She's part of the Wolf Tick Nation. Part of the Wolf Tick Nation. She's a patron. Uh, she loves She loves us. You she, know? she loves the cold weather, too, apparently. Woman loves the cold weather, apparently. Damn, she had me out there riding 28 degree weather. 25. Yeah. Brandy bought us eight coffees. Um, again, man, such a big supporter, merch supporter. Patron supporters, we said, YouTube lover of all, uh, Wolf Tick Nation. Man, uh, Brandy, thank you so much. You and Kevin back at home, hopefully watching this. Staying warm, uh, we appreciate you. But um, next time you're down here, you have to ride the old ledge because she won't ride a hardtail and uh, see if she digs these brakes. But hopefully these things um, stop us pretty good in the stopping department. And I think I might have to add some some spacers to this back one here because it's actually rubbing on the caliper so I gotta put a couple spacers on there. Alright guys, we are on the home stretch. Just about done with this project. Now let me ask you guys this. Um, do you mount your uh, shifter, then brake, then grip? That's how I do it. That's, that's one of the things I'm always curious on if I even do it the right way. But we go shifter, brake, I don't know if that's a right way or a preference. Yeah, I don't know. I like my levers to be how, right where I can reach them. I just can't believe you're using the word, um, you know, words I'm doing it wrong. And you know, you do a lot of things wrong, and that's one of the things that's more of a preference, and that one is the one you're worried about. Yeah. All right, so we got those on there. We're going to tighten these things up. And um, before we jump to installing the Booker pedals, we're going to talk about those Whoa. a little bit. Watch your mouth. I want to uh, give a very big thank you again, guys. It's a coffee shout video, and without you guys, uh, without the coffee supporters and um, just our patron stuff, we couldn't really do this stuff freely. Or go on vacation. Or go on vacation. Um, I want to uh, give a very big thank you. Homeboy thought we forgot about him. Uh, come on now. It's all uh, freaking the green thumb himself. Uh, <laughs> green thumb. Thunder Lungs, uh, I mean, just, there's so many damn names for this guy, but he definitely is a green thumb from what we've heard. It is all Poe Lawless, our boy from how, Oregon. How can we forget about Poe Lawless? Oh, we no don't. Way. I think he just, you know, he's like, man, I just want a little bit of love. I'm here on my beanbag, you know, Cheeto, 
eating Cheetos uh, naked. It's, it's Paul Wallace. <laughs> Paul Wallace, thank you so much for the seven cups. Dude, we never forget about you. We bring you up all Now we're about to do the install of the world famous Fooker pedals. Fooker pedals have always been brought into the conversation. You guys need to try Fooker pedals. Fooker pedals are the best. They get the best grip. For the money, you can't beat them. They're lighter. They're just overall better. It's more slimline than the race face chesters, I guess, are their, uh, what would you call it, their main competition, right? So we're going to put these things on the ledge. Uh, they feel just, they feel a little bit smoother with the sealed bearings. I know these have sealed bearings to the race face chesters. They do feel a little bit smoother than the race face chesters right out of the box. And when we do do the uh, brake real time review on the tech shows, guys, uh, make sure you turn notifications on. Uh, we are going to, uh, we're going to be talking about probably, I mean, a lot to do with this bike. We're going to be talking about the pedals a little bit. We're going to be talking about the whole uh, new bar and stem setup. Remember, we took that TriFox bar off of this thing. I showed you guys some B-roll of it. And with the foam grips, we have all that to talk about alongside with the brakes. So it's going to be a pretty interesting combo, pretty interesting setup. Um, now, before we go, I want to thank a few fellows that also gave us some coffees and um, help support this build and all of our other stuff, man. Uh, that's going to be our boy from the UK, him and old Jacob. It is Dan Boyce. Man, Dan Boyce, uh, one of these days we are going to get together, we're going to go to the UK, and you and Wolfman are going to drink because I know you like your beer, okay? Stephen Thomas, another uh, dude that has been a part of this channel for a minute. You can go back. I, I want to say Stephen Thomas is an OG. Let us know, Stephen Thomas. Another five coffees. We can search Stephen Thomas. And he comes up from way back in the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's been around for a minute. He's been around for a minute. And our last guy is Jason underscore JRC underscore 33 five cups of coffee. He's a new coffee purchaser. Uh, Jason, we're glad to have you. And uh, man, thank you so much for the five cups of coffee. We're getting some damn yeah. love right is that is that maybe his uh, Is that maybe his, his Instagram you just gave? I have no clue. What the hell Well, you is. put it up on the screen. We have a flip phone, Jason. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Again, if you're not part of the nation, become a part of the nation. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And we will be seeing you guys. Uh, let's do get a little bit of mail time out of the way. Guys, there's a new fork. In the mail time. You ain't going to want to miss it. Let's see how many of you actually watch all of it. New fork in the mail time. We will see you Did guys. You, just tell me to give us a thumbs up. Yeah, a couple of times. Good. Mail time. Beep, everybody's beep, favorite. Beep, beep, beep. favorite segment. <laughs> all right. Everybody's favorite segment. What are you eating? Some pizza? Mm hmm What have we got in the mail time? Everybody's yeah. favorite segment. Everyone's favorite. What's this? I don't know. I just grabbed it. Let's see what this is. Normally, I have a method to it. I, I have none. Oh. Are these uh, possibly, you open that one, is this possibly what we showed you guys earlier on the install? I don't know. These might Woo! be useful. Hopefully you guys know the whole deal. We had to postpone. Now these uh, are hopefully the right adapters. I guess you guys already know it. We don't yet because we're filming this uh, after. But uh, all right, we got some ourselves some 180 millimeter front and rear adapters. What else we got? Not this. We got that fork back Smalls. Here. Smalls, we got some smalls here. You open that. That's part of your Christmas present. Oh, uh, whoa. That's part of what Grandma got you to mount. It's, I'm trying to tell you the whole time. You didn't... I told you there was stuff in there. It's to mount his backup camera, so whenever we're hauling the trailer around. Yes. Put that screen up. Yeah, the back of the trailer. Back of the trailer. So it's not like back. Well, I guess it is. Back. It's a monitor. Berserker! Nick, one of our coffee purchasers, you guys found out, and a patron. Yeah. Berserker? He, he does it all. Yeah, he does, he does do it all. He's got a lot of name tags. A lot of you guys ready? Three yeah. XL. Oh. oh, hey, that's, that's pretty cool, sweet there. Man. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, that's what we got on the front. That's bad. Oh, known for wrestling. Uh huh. That's you right there. Yeah, uh -huh. back, back in the day. Awesome. If I did that position now, I'd be in the hospital. Uh huh. Berserker <laughs> Nick with the Iowa wrestling stuff, dude. We appreciate that Heck so much. Yeah, that's, that's I sick, wore the man. crap out of mine these you last. Did. I went to some. Uh, some college wrestling. Went you to had some a bunch of people wrestling. thinking you're some college wrestler. They was, the ears they and the shirt. Wrestler berserker. But thank you so much for that shirt. Well, wrestling's right. It fits perfect. And uh, you got a 3XL wrestling yeah, shirt awesome. now. Now, speaking of berserker, he just sent us the Bellini, not Bucklose. He Bologna. sent us the Bologna. Bologna. And uh, you know, we were on the kick of uh, some fork action. And I thought, you know what? We both talked action. about it and said, well, hey, we need to get another fork pronto. Let's uh, let's see what we can get. Yeah, pronto. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, guys, ready to see this fork 
Now this is of course going to go on our rating system and our real time review stuff, but first it's going to be the initial impressions. Hmm. Okay, so we have got a tapered we'll sphere uh, Don't take it out yet. Leave it in there. Wait, wait for, uh, for the you video for that. I like the orange. Yeah. All right. I see a 32, some Bucklose action. We'll see what that's all about. Yeah, we will see. That's a good initial idea. Initial impression video. Yeah, initial impressions video. All right, we'll stick it back in there. Yeah, all right, we're going to stick it back in there. Yeah. We had to surprise you guys a little bit. Um, the ledge video was like a two-week adventure, so we were like, you know what, let's stick some mail time in oh, there. Oh, God. Let's stick some coffee shout-outs. It was a mess, but it kind of all came together mm -hmm. with the mail time. And luckily, we got these suckers now. So, as always... We appreciate you watching Wolf Dick videos. Uh, please like this video if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you're not yes. a part of the nation. And um, man, we appreciate the love. We will be getting back to the two videos a week. So make sure you guys are looking forward to Friday's video. Don't miss it. And then uh, coming up here pretty soon. Um, hell, I don't know which video it's going to be. We've got that Bucklos for coming in, man. And yeah. it, all we know, it's a tapered steer tube. And, and Bucklos. Buck loose. Bucklos. Buckloss. Buckloss. All right. The bucking. Um, all of the coffee purchasers, thank you guys Buck so much. Loose. Everybody that had something to do with the Ledge X1 build. Oh, yeah. We're fixing to do the real-time review on the brakes as well. Yeah, we got to get that real time done. Yes, Tektro. Yeah. Find out how they are. Make sure mm -hmm. the rotors are correct this time. Yeah, they think they're, they're good. Okay. All right, guys. We will see you Friday. Don't forget, two videos a week. Turn the notifications For on. For now. For now.